Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Broncos franchise. Today, uh, we'll be simulating a couple weeks, probably be simulating past the deadline, um, as I don't think there's anyone who might be on the move. Uh, but the first game of today is a really big one against the Kansas City Chiefs. So, in Travis Lake's first career start, we lose. Uh, we put up a donut in the fourth quarter as we had the lead going into the fourth quarter. Looked like it was a pretty good game. Patrick Mahomes played not amazing, but he did what he needed. Travis Lake's 270, two touchdowns, two interceptions. On defense, Von Miller had a sack. Justin Simmons had a sack, and Alalu had a sack, as we only allowed one. So we have a little bit of a um, recruiting update, or not recruiting, but draft update. Um, so it looks like in terms of running backs, which could be a spot we look um, with Philip Lindsay probably not coming back. Uh, we have Javante Houston, 5'7", 180. He's pretty small, 21 years old, out of Fresno State. He is a receiving back, uh, but he can. He looks kind of like a power back as well. Uh, him and then Chad Bartell, uh, similar player. It looks like uh, they are pretty similar, but Chad Bartell looks maybe a little bit more like a elusive uh, receiving back. So we'll see what uh, ends up happening as these running backs are both really good. This could be a draft where we end up trying to take a tackle pretty early as well as Garrett Bowles might not be coming back. Uh, left tackle is really weak, but right tackle in the early second round has Josh Drummond. He is a huge man, uh, 6'6", 337. He's only 21 years old, though, out of Michigan State. So the next game is against the 4-2 Panthers, uh, battle of the four win teams. You look, uh, we are currently tied with the Chargers at four and three. Chiefs are at six and one. They're looking really good to start the year. So we'll see. This is a big game for us against the Panthers. So Travis Lakes get the start again, and we win this time against the Panthers. We move to five and three. Teddy Bridgewater. 300 yards, but no touchdowns or interceptions. Travis Lakes, uh, pretty similar game. Oh, only one interception, though, this time. Uh, he's been playing all right to start. McCaffrey, we actually held McCaffrey in check. Our defense, Tim Jerrigan and Von Miller both had two sacks. Uh, Lecarius York, a rookie. Left end, he had a sack, and then John Bailey, the rookie, D tackle at a sack. Looks like we got a lot of pressures. That's what, six sacks? Oh, man. So we have an upgrade here for Travis Lakes. Um, and I do think we're probably going to go improviser here. I would still like to get some of those ratings up as overall goes up. And that's solid. So this will be the last game today that we simulate, and we have a breakout player, and it's on Tim Jerrigan. Oh wow! So we sit at five and three here, going against the Raiders. Uh, we are in a solid spot; we're above five hundred. Uh, but the Chargers also won, but the Chiefs lost. So this is a pretty big game, and it is a rivalry game, obviously. Raiders and Broncos, uh, they're in the same division and whatnot. So we'll see if we can take the W here. Not a great game here all around. Um, they ran pretty well. It just wasn't a great game. Uh, looking at this, they got similar snaps. Um, Drew Luck played a little bit worse but Derek Carr played pretty well Tim Patrick had a pretty good game um, not much else though Von Miller had a sack Jarrell Casey had a sack 
Tyson Alalu had a sack, uh, but not too much. And then they had two interceptions. But anyways, uh, this is probably going to be a little bit of a shorter episode. But I did want to play the Chargers next time as we are right behind them in the standings. Uh, and this could be a really big game to decide whether we make the playoffs or not. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.